Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a really fun video for you. Well, it's fun for me because I have never used an ice cream maker before. So I was really excited to get this ice cream maker. And the first thing I wanted to make was some sort of sorbet. So if you wanna see how I made some strawberry lemonade sorbet, stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take some strawberries and I used approximately two pounds of strawberries and it made almost exactly the four cups that I needed. It was a little bit over so I you know ate a couple. So to a blender I'm adding in my four cups of strawberries that are sliced up and then I'm also going to add in one cup of lemonade which I just used one of those drink packets so you can use crystal light this happened to be a country time and I just simply mixed one of those packets with one cup of water and made a cup of sugar-free lemonade. So then you're going to take the zest of one whole lemon and my family thought it was a little bit too lemony but I personally thought it turned out perfect so up to you how much lemon zest you want to use and then I took a half of a cup of this sweetener from Swerve it's like a powdered sweetener but you can use any type of sweetener that you want and then you just blend it all up so you guys this is so easy just put all your ingredients in there blend it up in the blender and then it is ready to go into your ice cream maker this is the ice cream maker I'm using it's from I don't know how to say it, ACOK, A-I-C-O-K. Um, you can get it on Amazon. I will have a link for it down below in the description box. It's a 1.5 liter. It, it's really quiet, surprisingly. I really didn't know what to expect, to be honest. It has this little insert. So one thing you have to do is put this insert in the freezer for at least 12 hours before you make your ice cream or sorbet. So this has been in my freezer actually for about two or three days. I just store it in there now. Um, that was actually my husband. So I wanted you to store it in there. I'm like, oh, that's really smart. And then it has a little insert in there and it holds that so it's easy to pull out. Those little prongs make it really easy to pull out. And then you just simply pour in your mixture inside that insert. And again, this made the perfect amount. And then you're gonna put the top on which has the motor in it and it has a timer on there. Now the original recipe that I looked at said it would take between 30 to 45 minutes depending on your ice cream maker. So my ice cream maker here, it has a 30 minute time limit. So you just have to reset it if you wanna go longer. So I originally set it for 30 minutes and then just let it go again like i said it's not very loud but it i just like i said i didn't know what to expect i've never ever used an ice cream maker in my life and then it just goes and this has a little door in there where you can lift up and add in extra ingredients if you want to so i let it go for 45 minutes and then this is what it looked like when it came out me personally i wanted it to be a little bit more frozen because it just wasn't quite frozen enough and again not knowing anything about um, ice cream makers. I did put it into the freezer for about 30 minutes or so, but I didn't know if I could let it go longer because I didn't know what it might do to the motor. So this is after it had been in the freezer for about 30 minutes. So 45 minutes on the ice cream maker, 30 minutes in the freezer, and it came out to be this consistency. And it was perfect, you guys. It is so good. Technically zero smart points. I don't know if blended fruit comes into play here with Weight Watchers, but I don't count blended fruit. So to me, this is zero smart points. So since I had never used an ice cream maker before, I honestly did not know what to expect, but it was so easy. And like I said, when I first heard the noise, I was like, oh, it's gonna make that noise. And my husband said, no, that's really quiet for an ice cream maker because he'd grown up using ice cream makers. He even said like he had the old churn style, which again, never used before. I always just had conventional ice cream. You just buy already in a carton. But anyway, this is gonna be so fun to come up with different flavors. So let me know down below in the comment section what flavors you might wanna see or what flavors you might try if you had an ice cream maker. Now, I think this recipe, what I read in the instructions, and I will of course link the original recipe down below, but I really changed it up a lot. But I believe in there it said if you do not have an ice cream maker, you just simply pour it into a freezer safe container, put it in the freezer, and it works the same way. I don't know what, I, I think that maybe the consistency Consistency may be different because in my experience when I have made things like that and just put them in the freezer the consistency wasn't the same so I have a feeling the churning with the ice cream maker does something to the ingredients 
but this is so super simple. This ice cream maker is a super affordable. I believe it's like $36, $37 on Amazon. So I will have it linked down below in the description box. So check that out. Also, again, let me know what other kind of flavors you wanna see. If you wanna see more of these recipes, let me know. I would be happy to come up with some flavors. I actually have a couple in the back of my mind. Have anybody ever heard of chocolate sorbet? I'm thinking about trying that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.